So right now we have two crystal dragons printing. We have a green one on the Ender 3 V2, and then we have a rainbow one on the Prusa Mark 3S Plus. So here's the progress on the rainbow. And then here is the green. I'm gonna go ahead and let these prints run and we will check them tomorrow morning. All right, it's the next day and we're gonna check on these crystal dragons. Here is the rainbow, and here's the green. So we have about four to six hours left on these, and then we will be finished. All right, this will be the last update before they finish. Here is the rainbow. Have about one hour left, and here's the green. We have about 19 minutes left, so I will update you guys when these finish. All right, and the Crystal Dragons are done. All right, so both of these prints are fresh off the bed. I haven't cleaned them up or anything. And as you can see, I think the horn quality on the Ender 3 V2 looks better, this green dragon. What do you guys think? So now let's compare the quality of the smaller crystals going down. And they look pretty similar. All the way down to the tail. Yeah. I mean, the V2 looks great. And the green dragon we printed on the Ender 3 V2 actually took three hours less and took less filament to print. As you can see, the green dragon on the V2 took a little under 20 hours to print, and the rainbow dragon on the Prusa took 23 hours to print. So the dragon on the Prusa Slicer took 224 grams of filament, and the dragon on the Ender 3 V2 took 174 grams of filament. So this is the green dragon we printed on the Ender 3 V2. We used a 0.6 nozzle. This took about 20 hours to print and we used 20% infill and 220 printing temperature. Here is the rainbow dragon on the Prusa. Again, a 0.6 nozzle. Took about 24 hours and we just used different slower speeds for this one. So as you can see, both of these printers were able to get the job done and they both came out great quality. Thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe for more 3D printing tips and tricks.